For centuries, turning base metals into gold was the holy grail of alchemists. Today, nuclear physics has turned that ancient dream into a scientific reality, sort of. Gold, with its atomic number 79, can be synthesized artificially through a process called nuclear transmutation. But while science says yes, economics and technology firmly say no. The journey from mercury or bismuth to gold is technically fascinating but ultimately impractical on Earth. Artificial gold production can be approached through two main scientific methods, nuclear reactors and particle accelerators. In a nuclear reactor, scientists can bombard atoms like mercury-196 or platinum-198 with neutrons. This process induces beta decay which can transform mercury into gold. For instance, mercury-196 absorbs a neutron and becomes mercury-197 which then undergoes beta decay to become gold-197, the only stable isotope of gold. The problem is that this process requires powerful high-flux reactors and results in microscopic yields, far too small for commercial use. Alternatively, particle accelerators offer a more direct approach. By smashing high-energy particles into bismuth-209 or mercury nuclei, it's possible to knock out protons or neutrons and transmute the atom into gold. But these accelerators are expensive to operate and the cost of energy required to create even a single gram of gold vastly exceeds its market value. In fact, the energy cost alone can be tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of dollars per gram, orders of magnitude more expensive than simply digging gold out of the earth. In contrast, natural gold is a product of the cosmos. Observations made in 2017 confirmed that gold is created in violent astrophysical events like neutron star mergers. During these collisions, rapid neutron capture or the all process produces heavy elements including gold in enormous quantities. That means all of the gold on earth in your jewelry or your electronics is essentially ancient debris from star systems long gone. In that cosmic light, we are wearing stardust. The idea of manufacturing gold sounds like a scientific triumph, but it fails a cost-benefit analysis by a landslide. Artificial gold costs tens of thousands of dollars per gram, requires years to produce even trace amounts, and often result in unstable isotopes that decay quickly. In contrast, mined gold costs around 40 to 70 per gram, can be extracted in minutes, and is entirely stable. To date, the largest lab-based yields of artificial gold are measured in micrograms, while the global mining industry produces about 3,000 metric tons annually. Historically, alchemists lacked the tools to understand why their efforts failed. Turning lead into gold requires altering the number of protons in the nucleus, something only nuclear reactions can achieve. It wasn't until 1980 that researchers at Berkeley Laboratory successfully transmuted bismuth into gold. The scientific success was undeniable, but the financial cost, roughly one quadrillion dollar per ounce, was absurd. The dream of the alchemist had finally come true, but at a price that made it less valuable than a myth. So, can you make gold?
Yes, through reactors or particle accelerators, we can transform atoms into gold. But can it do it economically? Absolutely not. When it comes to creating gold, the universe is far better at it than we are. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.